Go ahead, Representative Holmes. And uh, you, remember, you mentioned 10 to the 9. Is that the, is that the national standard that you referred to earlier that this area was monitored for and cleaned up to? Uh, Mr. Sprint? Thank you. Uh, the standard was uh, set down the, the trigger level, the action level was set at 10 months if for a while off. Go ahead. And thank you. You said that the the, um, the, the wildlife refuge area was uh, cleaned up to protect wildlife refuge workers. Did you mean that that would also include having public on, public involved in that? Thank you. Um, part of that, uh, there, there was another scenario, and that's a wildlife refuge visitor. And I'm sorry, the, the, the risk to a wildlife refuge worker, uh, mostly because of the time that he would spend there, is assumed to spend there, is, um, uh, his risk is much greater. So the wildlife refuge, uh, a member that would be protective of a wildlife refuge worker is more than protective of a wildlife refuge visitor. Thank you, Madam Chair, and, and thank ahead. you, by the way, for being here. Go um, back and forth. It's Mr. Strang, right, and thank Sorry, you first. also, Ms. McAllen, for being here. Um, I think I have only one more question, uh, and that is the, the trails that are defined um, to be open to the public. The, um, the trails on the, um, basically the south side of the, um, this is using the map that uh, Representative McKinley had now appear to be very close to the core area. Can you give me a description of how close any of the trails might be to that core area? What was the requirement on that? Mr. Spring? Thank you. There was no requirement that it, simply that they were within the refuge. And uh, uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife determined the, the best routes for those trails without, uh, to my knowledge, any input from the state. Further questions? Representative McCann. Thank you, Madam Chair. I just, I wasn't quite sure I understood what you were saying about the refuge. First of all, the refuge is the area that would be open to the public, correct? Um, and then I wasn't quite sure, did you say the refuge is an area that was a buffer? Um, it's not, doesn't encompass the plant area? I just didn't quite hear you. Mr. Spring. Thank you. That, that is correct. Uh, the refuge lands are that donut around the central core that was the, the plant site. The plant site where all the buildings were and um, adjacent uh, landfills and uh, other activities. So those would not, that part would not be open to the public, the plant area and the That's right. landfills? That's right. May I follow up just briefly? Have yes. you seen the oh, map? Representative McCann. Thank you. Madam Chair, have you seen this map that we got? Okay. I think you have it now. Um, and I'm not sure, maybe maybe Mr. Representative McKinley could talk about this, but is the, can you describe, if you can, from this map, where the refuge is versus the plant area? Uh, this doesn't have the final, uh, can you see the, um, the dotted, Line. Yes. Uh -huh. That was an early attempt to uh, to draw a line around the remediated areas. Okay. Uh, the actual uh, refuge boundary is now it encompasses that and, and beyond. So, it, it, I'm sorry. The actual uh, central core area that's retained by UE is bigger than that. So the um, the refuge is outside of that line. All right. Thank you. So is, am I understanding you to say it's like the dotted lines on the outside, kind of around the square part, based on that map? So like where the number one is to the left of that, and then down? No, I'm sorry. Can you see the central area with the, um, where, where the buildings um, used to be? It's a uh, the busy looking part of the map right in the center of the... In the right, yes. Uh, surrounding that, there's a dotted, there's a dotted line, curved line, right. and that encompasses the area of remediation that you cannot visit. Right, uh, it's retained by the Department of Energy. Okay. 
So all of that inside there. Is, yes, and is that beyond, beyond actually. Yeah, it's bigger than that, actually. With that being um, being the case, and I, I and I think somebody asked you a minute ago, but can you give me an idea of what the distance is from that to the, the dark line in terms of one of the hiking uh, hiking trails? It looks like the the hiking trail on the south there goes along the south bank of Woman Creek, which is um, which is the approximate boundary. It's within twenty thirty. 50 feet maybe of the, the boundary. 20, 30 feet? Something like that, yeah. It's, it's very, it comes very close there because it follows Mormon Creek in, in the area there. Yes. So with it being that close, um, any residual um, plutonium or whatever is on the surface of that area could become airborne. Am I correct with that? Well, the area here in the south is uh, uh, plutonium at the surface typically becomes airborne off of vegetation. Um, what what little may be remaining there, and, and again, the areas that were identified have been scraped off, sent out of state, and replaced with clean soil. So at the surface we have soil that's uh, as clean as your backyard and mine. Um, so for the most part, uh, if there, there's always the risk, and we accounted for that, that there may be a slight risk of the remaining um, spot or two of, of dust particles that have plutonium attached to them. And they may become airborne. But it is, um, again, we measured for that during um, for, for many years, including the time that uh, the site was was stirred up and dust was raised, and we're well below standards, and we're confident now that uh, that is no longer a, a pathway to uh, to receptors. Thank you. And is is there a plan at, at any point? Since you, I think you said the last um, inspection or monitoring had been 2007. Is there a plan to revisit that at any time, or is it just kind of a closed case? Or how does that how does that work? Well, it's, it, it is closed by our final record of decision. But every at, at every surplus site, at every superfund site, <coughs> where there there is residual contamination, as there is here, uh, there is a five year review. The next five year review comes up in 2012, and that will be a, another public process. And uh, anything that affects the remedy. Uh, question we visit and comment on. Thank you. Are there other questions? Representative Court. Thank you, Madam Chair. On, on this map, what is federal property and what is state property and what is otherwise property? It is all federal property, it's all federally owned. It, it has different managers and it is the, um, um, it doesn't show up very clearly here, but almost everything on here is federally owned. There's some private property um, off on the, between, on the far left side, the far west side, is Highway 93. Between that and the dotted line, just a quarter of an inch in, there's a, a thin strip of private property. The, the square to the southwest, the southwesternmost square on this site that has a, um, that's off of Rocky Flats right there, is section 16 as a school section, so that's owned by the state land board. The rest of this is federal property. Well, that's worth a lot of money. Huh. They think so, yes. You said southwest. Uh -huh. Just okay. just to the left of the one. Right? Yeah. Representative Wallace. Thank you, Madam Chair. Sir, the, the bill says, or makes an assertion, it says there is no safe level level of human exposure to plutonium or other materials that produce ionizing radiation. In, in your scientific opinion, is that an accurate statement? Mr. Spring? 